I can feel as we start approaching the stadium, Abby starts perking up even more. You know, you could tell she's anticipating the day ahead. And then as soon as you actually go through the tunnel into the stand, that's when the energy hits you. The singing, you've got the banter between the two sets of supporters. So that's when you really feel like you're actually at a football match. No, I'm here doing the thing that I love, the thing I, I've always loved. And I'm only able to do that because I've got Abby by my side. I first started losing my sight when I was six. Uh, that came from having arthritis in my knee the year before. The inflammation from the knee went to the back of my eyes and I was diagnosed with a condition called uveitis. Uh, my, my sight stabilised well. However, when I turned 18, I then lost the, the rest of my sight pretty much overnight, really. I literally woke up one morning into complete darkness. And, you know, you feel lonely. You can't see the surroundings, but it also excludes you from a lot of things in life. And that was no different for me with football. You know, I sat at home on a Saturday, not being able to get to the match anymore. And I, I'd lost touch with a lot of friends and, and my number one hobby. Being able to actually get back into that, thanks to having a guide dog, just brought a sense of community back into my life. Throughout the years, I've always attended uh, football matches with my dad. That's a new signing. Yeah, it did well. Uh, it's been a, a father and son thing that we've always done. And, but when I lost my sight, it sort of felt like he was doing it as a carer rather than just me and my dad going out to the football. Uh, so when I was able to do that with a guide dog, it completely changed things. It felt like I was just back to myself, going out, enjoying it with him. It was a massive change to my whole match day experience. I felt like I was doing it independently. I felt so free. During the actual match, it's so different for me. I've, I've attended as a sighted person, uh, and now I'm attending as a blind person, and it's very interesting to do the comparisons. Uh, you know, I'm picking up on all sorts of different sounds that I probably wouldn't have done before. You know, I, I tend to sort of feel the atmosphere a little bit more. You walk past the, the food stores, you can smell the, the, the pies there and you just that's when you know you're at a football match. Mansfield for me is, is my home. It's been somewhere that I've, I've grown up. Uh, you know, it's full of friendly people, very hardworking. When I was given a guide dog, it just it enabled me to be free and build up a picture of the town that, that I love. The club have been fantastic uh, in how they look after both me and, and Abby. Uh, whenever we come to the matches, some, some games she sits with me in the, in the stands. However, some games are a bit busier and a bit noisy, so uh, I prefer to leave her in the ticket office. Uh, they're, they're really good, they look after her. Abby, to me, well, she's just a life changer. Um, you know, just having her by my side enables me to do so much and I sometimes try to think about what it would be without her and it's a, it's a scary thought because I just know that not having her by my side I would be so much more restricted and I just don't think I would have the life that I'm uh, you know, lucky, to, lucky enough to have now.